Today we have a great opportunity to um, baptize uh, the newest member of our church, uh, uh, Alexander Ray Bird. And uh, so let me just share a few words before uh, they come up. We see that baptism is a sacrament of the church. The Lord Jesus himself uh, instituted two sacraments. We have the Lord's Supper and, and baptism. And baptism is primarily understood as a sign that shows that you are part of the family of God, that you are part of the church of Jesus Christ. And so we see when we look at the book of Acts, we see that it was not just adults, um, believers who were baptized, but we see that there were believers and their households. The idea is that children uh, that are in part of this church, whose parents are believers, that they are members of this church. They, are, they have the covenant rights to be able to be taught the word of God and prayed for and really to enrich their lives. Remember, now, baptism doesn't save anybody, all right? Baptism has no regenerational qualities to it. Uh, you don't have to be baptized to go to heaven. We see that clearly with the thief on the cross. But we see that baptism is a sign and a testimony to ourselves and to the world that we believe that God has ordained a people to be here on earth to be able to minister the word of God and see people come to faith in Christ. Amen? Amen. And so uh, there's nothing special about the water. There's nothing special about the person who administers the water. What is special is the faith that God has put into the hearts of these parents, believing that their child will one day come to saving faith in Jesus Christ and walk out the truths of the scriptures in his life. So I'm going to ask them to come forward. All right. You can stand over there. All right. Wait, well, that's a nice outfit, man. Can I borrow that? That's a, oh, look at his shoes. That's so cool. I need shoes like that. Look, it's got a little cross on it and stuff. That's awesome. All right. Well, we're just thrilled for you guys and for this uh, new one, uh, Alexander Ray. And uh, we just thank God for you guys and for your family. All right. I know you have a lot of uh, family members that are here today and friends, the support uh, that you guys have as far as your family. So let me just ask you, do you acknowledge your child's need for the work of salvation in his heart? Do you? Do you look in faith to the Lord Jesus for his salvation when one day he will profess Jesus Christ as his own personal Lord and Savior? Do you? And do you now unreservedly dedicate your child to God and promise in humble reliance upon the Holy Spirit that you will endeavor to set before him a godly example, that you will pray with and for him, and that you will teach him God's word, and that you will strive by all the means of God's appointment to bring him up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord? Do you? All right. And do you, as the congregation, do you undertake the responsibility of assisting these parents in the Christian nurture of this child? Do you? Yes. I didn't hear you. Yes. Okay, good. I, th I heard you there. All right. So, here we go. Come over. Bring him over here. Okay, come on over here, Mama. You, you hold him, all right? I'm, I'm not good with the baby. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> Alexander Ray Bird, I now baptize you as a minister of the gospel in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless him. Pour your spirit out upon him. Cause him to walk in the statues of the Lord. We thank you, Lord, and pray for this household that they will glorify you in all things. We give you praise and thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord praise.